In this video I'll show you how I sketch a monarch butterfly seen from the side with a little bit of both wing pairs showing. So I'm starting with my familiar triangle shape again, but this time I want to think about the shapes that I see more like um, a volume or a form with several planes. And this will help me to get a closer approximation of the, the shape that I can see. I'm adding in the body and there are lots of little white dots on the body, so I'm trying to draw them all in. And I'm starting to add in the big cells, so I'm trying to look at the dark orange spots. And from there I can add the smaller dots and the markings and dots at the edge of the wing. I'm darkening a few places just as a reminder for me what is a colored space and what is a dark space so that I know where I can put my color safely. And now I'm adding my watercolor and the first thing that I'll mix up is this bright orange color for the wings. And I can just add in this bright color. It doesn't matter if it goes a little bit over the edge because uh, I can go in with a darker color later and fix that. Now while this is drying I'm adding in the uh, details, the eyes and the legs and the antennae with my colored pencil. And I'm also going around the white dots on the body so that I don't fill them in with black color. So I could also do this, uh, go over these areas and add in the dots with gouache or um, gel pen later, but in this case I think it'll be better if I just leave them in white. I'm taking a dark mix, this is a sepia and paints gray mix, so I'm just with my brush I'm going around these dots and trying to leave them white as much as I can. As you can see the wing that's darker also has these light dots but they're also darker so um, light plays a huge role in this. It will give you this beautiful three-dimensional effect later in your sketch. Now I can make bolder strokes with my pencil for the veins and again with my brush I can fill in the black parts and here you can really punch the contrast so don't make your your color mix too watery really use a lot of dark color for this so that you don't have to go over it a second or a third time. And with butterflies often a bit of patience is required. So here you can see me straightening that curve and adding a bit more paint so that these dark parts really, really stand out. And I'm bringing my small brush and the white gouache to make some of the white dots a bit bigger and making clear where some of these dots are sitting. And this is the finished sketch for our monarch butterfly. If you've enjoyed this video, it's part of a longer video class called How to Draw and Paint Butterflies. In this video series, I show you everything you need to get started for sketching butterflies and moths in your sketchbook. I go over the basics of butterfly anatomy, show sketching techniques and tips and give several demonstrations in watercolor and colored pencil from start to finish, including a long version of this tutorial. The whole course has over two hours of video, so come with me and learn how to draw butterflies.